this tutorial is going to cover writing a file resource download server and I'm going to be using uh, Java servlet to do that so I'm going to start by creating an Eclipse web application and then I'm going to write a Java servlet that uh, serves various type of files to web clients for example uh, PDF files or MP3 files or XML files and then uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is to test run this application on a Tomcat uh, web server I'll uh, start by creating a new project gonna call it download file from server project it's gonna run on uh, Tomcat 7 And I'm going to start here by uh, creating a new servlet. I'm going to call it uh, download uh, file servlet. And uh, the package is going to be com.ca.tutorial. And I'm only going to have a uh, do get method. So I'm going to have this uh, file name parameter coming in the HTTP request. So if I was able to pick up this uh, uh, parameter, so if the request object is different than null, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some processing. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to pick up the name of the file so I'm going to cast this uh, request object to a string. So for now, let's say I have two files in this directory in uh, uh, user Sain Academy work download file. I have PDF file 01 and XML file 01. So when I cast uh, uh, the file name, it's going to be uh, PDF file 01.pdf and XML or XML file 01. Dot, uh, XML. And let me also go ahead and define the file location. So it's in uh, C user Sane Academy work and uh, download files. And I will be setting the uh, content type of the response. So response.set content type. And this content type is going to be different depending on what type of file is going to be downloaded. So if it is an XML file, then the content type is going to be text slash XML. And if it is a PDF file, the content type is going to be application slash PDF. And uh, uh, other content types can be added here. But for now, let's just uh, stick to those two, the XML and the PDF. So let me just put uh, nothing for now at the content type. And, uh, I'm gonna need a uh, private method here. A uh, I called it get content type method that depending on the file type is gonna return the content uh, type. Let me just return null for now. So say I pass a file type of XML, it's going to return uh, text slash XML. Or I pass a content type of PDF, then it's going to return application slash uh, PDF. Now, 
uh, depending on the file name that I'm going to be picking up from the request. So that file name is going to have, uh, for example, uh, uh, XML file 01.xml or PDF file 01.pdf. So I need to pick up uh, what comes after the dot, the type of file. And the way I'm going to do that is to use the split method on the uh, on the string so so I have here I uh, casted the request object uh, to the to a string so I have the file name so uh, which means I have uh, pdf file 01.pdf or xml file 01.xml so to take just the xml part of it I'm gonna first uh, split it and uh, pick up uh, the, the element number one in, in that uh, uh, array. So when I split it, I, I, t I get two elements. So I get the, elem the first element is going to be element uh, zero, and the second element is going to be element one. So element one is going to contain the type of file. It's going to be either XML or uh, PDF or other type if uh, later on I add other types. So uh, now I have this XML type. Uh, I can uh, call get content type method on it and uh, pass it this XML and it should give me back text uh, slash XML or pass it this PDF and it should give me back application slash uh, PDF. So the content type now is going to be uh, what I need here. In, to set the content type in the response and uh, the way I'm gonna be picking up the file is uh, uh, using a new file here and I'm gonna pass it the file location which is I'm gonna have my files in here in uh, users Zane Academy work download file so it's gonna be here slash uh, and the file name and that the file name is going to be passed in the request so which is going to uh, lead me to uh, one of these guys pdf file 01.pdf or xml file 01.xml or other ones later on and uh, the requested file is going to be downloaded to the user machine so i'm going to be using uh, the content disposition header so response.add header and I'm gonna provide the file name and next I'm gonna uh, set the content length of the response to be uh, the file dot uh, length so this file uh, dot length and I will be using the servlet uh, output stream in order to uh, write uh, uh, to, th to the client. So I'm going to pick it up from the response, response.get output stream. And uh, in order to read the content of the file, I'm going to be using the first the file input stream, I'm going to pass it the file that uh, I picked up here and then I'm gonna use that to instantiate a buffered input stream and uh, I will be reading bytes from that uh, buffered input stream so I'm gonna do buffered input stream dot uh, read and uh, if this uh, method read method returns minus one this means that there is no uh, more bytes to read so if it is different than minus one then I can keep reading and then uh, uh, passing to the client so I'm gonna write uh, what I read here initially so serve that output stream dot write uh, bytes read and then I'm gonna stay in this while loop reading 
and uh, writing. And uh, at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this output stream and also close this uh, buffered input stream. Now let me go ahead and implement this uh, get content type method. So I'm gonna pass it a file type and it's gonna give me back uh, either text slash XML or application slash PDF, uh, etc. So let me start with uh, defining a return type and returning that uh, return type. So what I need to do is to loop through all elements of uh, this array, the first array. So uh, so the first ar array is going to contain uh, uh, XML, uh, text slash, slash XML, and uh, PDF, application slash PDF. So this object, or this object. Uh, so I need to loop through this uh, outer ar array uh, content types dot length and this is the content types the outer array and uh, depending on uh, if the file type is equal to uh, XML or if the file type is equal to PDF I'm gonna go ahead and pick up uh, the, the associated value, so text slash XML or application slash uh, PDF. So if uh, file type dot equals content types I uh, zero, so zero is gonna give me this either this one or this one, or later on if I add more, it's gonna be the first element. So uh, So what I'm going to be returning is uh, I1. So if, if it is XML, then I'm going to be returning this guy. If it's PDF, I'm going to be returning this guy. So that should pretty much do it. Do a save all. Let me go ahead and uh, run this application. It's going to be running on uh, Tomcat uh, 7. And uh, being able to download is going to depend on the security settings of the browser. So here I'm trying to download uh, XML file 01.xml and this browser is not gonna let me uh, because of its security settings so let me open up a different uh, browser so here we go so let me Try to open it. So this is the XML file, and uh, let me do the same thing, but with the PDF file. And later on, I'm gonna try to add a um, maybe an MP3 file and see if I can uh, download it. So here we go, we have the PDF file. Let me open it. And here we go.
let me here go to the code and uh, add an mp3 type of file so uh, the content type for that is going to be audio slash mpeg and uh, here in the download file directory I'm gonna add an mp3 file so mp3 file 01 and let me restart uh, the server since I changed the code here so to file I save all and opening up the browser gonna have here mp3 file 01 dot mp3 so here we go let's see if it still if it still works so 